A Valley family is mourning the loss of a mother and an infant after a deadly car crash. 12 News journalist Brenda Lipinski spoke with that family today. And Brenda, there were other children in the car at the time of the crash. That's right, 25-year-old Christina Laura, her boyfriend and her four children were inside the car. Her family never expecting anything like this to happen. A crash at the intersection of 19th Avenue and Lower Buckeye Road on Friday taking the life of 25-year-old Christina Laura and her infant son, Josiah. No words can express how we feel deeply. I mean, we go from crying to being mad and doing the what ifs or why. Christina's stepmom, Antoinette Henry, says everything happened in the blink of an eye. We actually literally just spoke to her probably about 10, 15 minutes prior to the accident because we were heading to her house after our kids' dental appointment. According to Phoenix police, the sedan that Christina was riding in with her boyfriend and four children were traveling north on 19th, while a pickup truck driving south tried turning left onto West Lower Buckeye Road. Christina saved the life of our one-year-old granddaughter who is in the hospital and she's, she's um, moved out of uh, the ICU. Police say the four children were not restrained in safety seats. Um, I guess the one thing that hits us hard is when people say, how could they have not been in their seatbelts? That hits us the most, and that's true. But at the same time, our daughter was a hero. She saved her one-year-old daughter from losing her life. They say Christina was independent with a heart of gold. And even when she was in, in high school, she told us, I don't want a Christmas gift. I want to go out and give stuff to the homeless. So that's what we did. Even though we lived all the way in the Globe area, we came all the way out here into Phoenix to, to do that for her. Heartbroken over the loss of their grandson. He pushed through that overnight into the early mornings when he passed. And cautioning drivers to pay attention. When you think it's not you, that it can't be you, it can be you because it was that's what I used to think. No, not me. It'll never happen to my family. But look, here I am. The family has set up a GoFundMe to help pay for the funeral expenses. You can find that on our website, 12news.com. Reporting in Phoenix, Brenda Lipinski, 12 News.